watching Edupedia World videos. In this session, we will see about Documents Draft List Report. This report is found in Sales Report. This report helps you to view sales, purchasing and inventory document types that are in draft mode. And because we are dealing with sales, so we will be only focusing on sales documents. In SAP Business One, you can save most documents as drafts. This lets you change and process them before adding them within the system. This may be required because a document is only partially filled out and it will be completed later. Or perhaps you may need someone else's help to fill the document completely. And this report comes very useful for these purposes. Document Drafts Report What is the need of the document draft? What are the benefits of document draft? How do we add our documents in drafts mode? Let's see with examples. First example can be that a customer wants to order some items. The salesperson enters the sales order within the system. But the customer is not certain about the quantities and tells that he will be telling those quantities sometime later and you do not want to enter again the items and do the laborious things so you choose to save it in draft mode second example can be your business gets a large project you prepare the quotation but because the quotation involves multiple items that are handled by different sales employee so each of you is responsible for a different area of the quotation you want to define the quotation data at an early stage to make sure that you and your colleagues have access to the current quotation when required. You save the quotation as a draft within the system to ease of that you can work on it until all the different areas have been completed. What are the benefits of draft document? It helps in referring back and changing if need be. It can be used multiple times and it saves time. How do I add a document in drafts mode? You choose that sales document that you want to add in drafts mode. Put the desired information. Go to the file on the main menu and choose save as draft. Here I have taken a sales order to be saved as draft. What I have done is selected the document type that I wanted to save as draft. I mentioned all the required data and on the menu bar you can see here I can select this option save as draft so this sales order that is in add mode will be saved as sales order draft you can see here next is the report itself the report is found in the sales report as document drafts report. What you can do is you open that report, you put in the dates, you say OK, you get some of the documents that are in draft mode. You can use this window to specify selection criteria for displaying the document drafts. As you can see there is sales, purchasing, inventory, counting transactions and inventory. What I can do, I can double click a row and it opens the specific document. If I want to change anything within, I want to change the quantity, the number of packages or maybe the price or whatsoever. I can change it and save it as draft itself or I can actually save this document within the system. Let's see how to convert a document that is in draft mode to an actual document. You open the document draft report, give the range of the dates, run the document draft report, choose the sales document you want to convert into actual document. So this is the draft report. I given some of the date range. I choose this sales order as 375. This is the sales order draft. I add it and you can see that it is 
now added within the system. In next session, we will be seeing about sales analysis report. Thank you.